my 2017 Kodiak 700. Uh, I'll be putting a Into Deeps custom snorkel on it. There it is right out of the box with everything laid out. They pack everything with newspaper. I don't know why, but... Um, first thing I'm going to do is do my intake because I got my clutch apart now for the EPI clutch kit. You can see the last video for that. Uh, it's right over there. I'm waiting on the gasket to come in. So, only thing I'm able to do today is just the uh, the intake because I can't put none of the belt on except that part because uh, the whole belt housing is off of it. So, I would recommend go ahead and get a new air filter while you're at it, being that you're going to have to seal your air box up. And, uh, Oh, dielectric grease everything as well. It's all these fittings in here, every electrical plug. Dielectric grease, all that, so you don't have to worry about no fuses popping or electrical shorts anywhere. Uh, I did all mine. The fuel pump back there, the spark plug, everything up here. Every electrical connection, fine. Just take it apart and put dielectric grease in it. Being that it's going to be sunk underwater. First thing I did was take the lid off and put that coupling on there. You have to heat that up because it ain't ain't big enough and it goes on there and shrink wraps around it. And uh, do that and then we can start running the vent lines. So I think we got one there and then some underneath. Um, the directions are very clear to this thing. I really like how it was all laid out. So. Alright, first thing I done was replace the gas line vent so the stock one comes off you put the new one down you can run underneath to there and then it pops back up right here and like I said that's all new so you just stick it down and pull it and run it all the way up to here and then you can trace your rear differential that's it right there we we'll have to splice into it to run it up higher and uh, now we've got a few more vent lines to do and uh, I'm just going by the directions Here's another tip for you when you're dielectric greasing and everything. Uh, this thing has a tilt sensor in it, so if you go to do water wheelies, it'll cut off on you. Um, it's located underneath the headlight, right there where them two holes are. Uh, what you're going to do is take it off, put a dab of super glue on both sides, or some kind of glue to keep it from tilting like that. That'll save you a lot of headache when you get down in the water and go back and it cuts off on you. Uh, you don't want that happening, so. Okay. Got the intake in. Use the hole saw bit to cut into the dry storage. Just kind of have to eyeball it and mock it up. There's a rubber bushing inside of here where the other one attaches to. I wouldn't tighten up anything yet until you get it all situated. And in the front of the air box, you uh, drill another hole and then it comes out and then you see I got all my vent lines ran they all just dead end up here so you just splice on the, all the loose wires or hoses you find up there and this one goes like that so that plate goes on there and you can see how it's lined up there so therefore I'm going to take all this back out and tighten the couplings down and probably silicone the dry box and then uh, after that we can start working on the belt um, I got the air box on in as I showed in the previous clip, so we got a silk on it. And then um, I got the old belt intake or exhaust, I don't know which one that is, um, mounted in right there, running up. And that Fernco mounts right below that bracket, and you can tighten both of those down. So, the only one I'm missing is the... Uh, other one that goes on the belt and I can't do anything until I get my clutch back together uh, waiting on that internal uh, primary clutch gasket and then uh, once we get that on we can run the other one um, I'm about to take this back off so I can trim out the piece that goes right there in front of it uh, I gotta drill up the hole so it'll slide down on top of it but other than that I mean the kit's perfect it comes with everything everything's the perfect length I mean as you can see there it comes up perfect and then turn a little bit to get it straight after it's all said and done but um, 
you know, all the vent vent tubes run up through there, and you can kind of figure out what you want to do with them once they're up there. Time in a loop or time off to the snorkel. So I'm gonna start sealing everything up now and and uh, cutting the holes in the plastic piece so I can slide that back down in there, and it should be good. All right, guys, update video. You see all the vent lines. I got to figure out what I'm gonna do with them. But uh, I got all the risers in. This kit actually comes with bolts, so you can line them all up. So just make sure the uh, your end snorkel don't have a hole in it, and this side don't have a hole. The middle one's got to have two holes on both sides, so the the bolts will go through there and connect. And then your bracket down here, very nice. It's got a little U hook on it. And then uh, there's your couplings. So the one for your intake is going to be the full coupling, and the others are reducers because it has that little 90 degree piece that goes up in there. As you can see right there, 290 degrees and goes up. I'm still waiting to get my clutch back together for that gasket, so um, this one's just gonna dangle for now and then you got that one in there. Um, so I'm just gonna clean up the vent lines and gotta wait till my uh, clutch gasket gets here to put everything back together. And then you can see the intake. Still hadn't sealed that up. It goes down through there. And uh, the airbox already has a seal around it, but I put a bead of dielectric grease all the way around the seal. That tube right there. Um, to keep it from sealed, and then did the same thing right there just to take extra precaution. Didn't need it, but um, figured I'd put it on there anyway. So, yeah, this kit is perfect, though. It comes with everything. Um, and as far as cutting the holes there, I just kind of guessed that and uh, it turned out pretty good Right there on both sides So All right, I got the vent lines done Ran them up to there Only to the top this one comes with bolts Like I was saying before And then got the vent lines up in between there's five of them so I got the box uh, sealed finally for the air box. So it's coming along. This kit's very good. It don't come with, you don't need anything else out of the box. Besides a hole saw bit to drill those holes right there, but that's about it. Oh, and the, um, and the air box there. So then the pipe's two inch, but you know, the coupling's a little bigger. I think I used two and a quarter uh, to drill the holes for it. And I had to ream it out a little bit for the, in there because of the way the edges are and stuff so that's the only thing you really need it, it's very straightforward so very easy to do anybody can do it um, you don't have to be a master mechanic to do something like this you just kind of got to be neat with it and the rest of it it just lays itself out so all right guys that's it the snorkel's done the clutch kit is done I've already took it out and tested it out. It does pretty good. I got it in the water about right here, so everything's sealed up good. So, um, kit is, like I said, it's very good. Uh, I didn't leak or nothing. The belt stayed dry the whole time. No water in the air box. Uh, the clutch kit is made for 28 to 30 or 31 inch tires, and uh, so it don't it don't like these tires being on there. You can tell it runs higher RPM because these are only 25. So. We put some new tires on there soon and um, that'll solve that problem so yep but like i said very happy with it uh i'll take videos of it going deep and showing how it does and everything so stay tuned for that